What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. Welcome back to UFC 2, my career with the female fighter. Now this is going to be the last fight of our career. We did our best to make that 100 overall and you know what? We have 100 and everything else. It's just those attributes that took a hit due to all of that upgrading and whatnot. And it was brutal. So that's the only reason why we aren't at that 100. Otherwise we would be. We kept taking too many hits on the body. We were so close, man. Uh, I'll showcase it in a bit. We got a new fight to pick. Please let it be someone good, not someone generic, but it's probably going to be someone generic because that's just how this was. Melissa McIntyre, Miss, M Missy Mac. We've already fought her before. So she's going to be our last fighter. Worst boosts in the standout. Well, it doesn't matter, like I said. So if we go to my career. Um, wait, no, that's wrong. Uh, sorry. We go to continue training. Let's go to my fighter. See this? We're hundreds across the board in the stand up, the clinch, and the ground. But like I said, we're, we have our body health dropped, our stamina dropped due to injury, things like that. The closest we ever came to overall of maximum, I think, was about a 99 or a, or a 98. I'm not sure. So it kind of sucks because I don't even need to train. There's no point in training. We're just going to get injuries going in and we're going to lose that try 100 anyway. So all I could really do is upgrade my moves. And maybe get those to a little bit higher level. Like the Superman punch. Honestly, that's probably our best bet. Just like that. And we have just enough to do something else. I don't know what I want to upgrade as of right now. Maybe get one of these. No, I only have enough for a sixer. There's a couple of two. Sliding sidekick. I haven't been using those that much. I guess I could go with that and bring that up to a three. Boom. It's already done. All right. Now all we got to do is go through a quick training session. It won't be very long. It's going to bust our balls. <laughs> see, as you can see, guys, everything we do, well, we can go ahead and just do this. Medium chance until we get that stamina back. Short sesh. So it ain't, it ain't well, it ain't worth it, really. Is there anything that's going to give us a low damage? Let me see. I don't think so. So we're just going to do a regular... Please, for no damage. Please, no damage. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Shit. All right, we lost clinch power. So we're going to drop probably by about two ticks. So instead of 100, we're probably going to be about a 98 on that front. But it won't matter. Like I said, last fight. You take too many hits, man. I mean, at least we got the three major categories maxed out. Okay, we're 97. We lost three points on that. Otherwise, we would have been perfect. So let's go in with a bang. I hope this last. I hope this is a good fight, man. I really hope it is. Coming up next, it is our main event of the evening between Razor and the Chosen One. All right, Chosen One. I've already the faced chosen many one. Chosen Ones. First Since American in a long time. I think it's the same woman, though. For the UFC women's bantamweight belt. As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. I can't lose the title now, man. No. Not on retirement's door. Looking to become the new UFC champion. One last time we'll be walking down to the octagon. Our last cut will be the deepest. See what I did there? Razor. Razor Ripley. Last cut. Deepest. She's contemplating. She remembering all those fights. For the last time in her professional career. Entertaining throughout the years, great battles inside the octagon. One of the most popular UFC veterans of all time. But tonight will be the last time we witness her displaying her skills inside the octagon. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. I want this one to be a good fight. 
Maybe it'll last a couple of rounds. I'll fight my hardest, but we'll see. Got to go in and get that 37th and final win. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in your dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. This, this has been one of the most highly Oh, the lack of respect, man. I'm about to retire. Time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in because it's about to go down to right now. Ready. I kind of want to end her right now. Go. Our championship fight tonight is scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. Oh, how am She's I on the ground from that? She's back up. Very nice kick. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. Head kick. Oh. oh! Powerful jab. Big right Whoa! Hand. Right hand. Powerful strikes. Beautiful body shot there, too. Oh, that hooked it down. Whoa! Nasty combinations here. Oh, Joe, another wow. strong jab. Wow! Oh, she heard her there, Mike. She heard her. Ah, oh, I just want to knock her out with a Superman. Body kick, look at that. Gigantic kicks. Look at this. Oh! There it is! With the Superman, what a way to go out! Woo! Excellent timing here. Oh, Big baby! For the victory. Holy man, she was just getting worn Time out. Now for our fight replay. Let me see that. Here we see the stunning uh. that retained her title. The shot lands with picture perfect accuracy. Her opponent goes limp. See it again. Her arms go up, and she Ooh. retains her world title. Here it is one more time. Boom! Boom. Oh and man! That's all she wrote. Whoo! What a way to go down. Decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute thirty-eight seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner. Proud favorite, a UFC champion. Not many people can say that they have earned a UFC belt. Not many people can say that they defended it in the final fight of their career. But that is what she has done. She will be remembered forever as one of the most entertaining champions in UFC history. You can't go wrong with that. That Superman punch to victory to end the career with a bang. There it is, guys. Evo points are pretty much useless at this stage. We've seen this one already. There's been a lot of amazing fights.
I've been getting, you know, it was really awesome trying this fighter out, you know, using, utilizing various combinations, whether it be kicks, whether it be punches, submissions, ground and pound techniques, whether, it doesn't matter. Every single one was entertaining and I loved this campaign or this career mode. The female fighters are awesome, but we have retired now. Being a UFC legend has carried you a long way, but time has finally cut up and claimed its victory against you. Don't worry though. Your name will forever be whispered on the lips of those who speak of the greats that have stepped into the octagon. Just like her father, we came, we saw. You've unlocked Bruce Lee, Mike Tyson, Boss Rutten, and Kazushi, Kazushi sorry, Sakuraba for achieving status of legend in career mode. Well, we've already done that, so there's nothing new there. So we ended on a 97 overall. Just kind of lame, but it is what it is. We can't do anything more, but that's fine with me. I had a great time. I really hope you guys did as well. Uh, there's been a lot of love for my UFC gameplay, and I want to thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I had a blast. It was great trying out various fighters, you know, doing both the male and female fighter. When the next UFC comes out, UFC 3, I'll be doing it. It's probably something similar. Hopefully, there'll be more story aspects, maybe cutscenes, kind of like the way that 2K does it. That would be awesome to see that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, final video of the career. Be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get 500 on this one. Favorite as well. And be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite aspect? What was your favorite fighter of mine in the career? Anything you want to share with me, hit me up in the comments. Uh, also, if you have not yet, be sure to follow me and like my pages on social media. They're down in the description. We'll play at the end card of this video. But for the record, Facebook.com slash DanQ8000. Twitter at DanQ8000. Instagram danq 8 k Vine, DanQ8000, and Snapchat, DanQ8000. Very, very active on there. Great way to associate with me, socialize with me, whatever, behind the scenes and, you know, off, off of YouTube. Excellent way to do that. If you guys want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. So go check that out if you'd like. But other than that, guys, this has been an excellent career mode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you guys did as well. We'll see you in more gameplay to come. There'll be plenty, plenty on my channel, so don't worry about that. But until then, though, let's finalize this bastard and hand things over to Knox Hill. See you guys later. So pretty, so pretty. Put you in the guillotine, brave bitch. See me better tap out before you see a blackout. Back out of the cage, you may fight another day. Till then, do the dance. One, two, get in tune with the motherfucking chain. Yeah.